Hi, everybody. I'm Father Bill Holtzinger. And I'm Erin Nieves. And this is your... Wednesday. And Friday Reflection. That's right. Yeah, so we're on the eve, and hopefully this will get published um, for Thanksgiving, if you're watching on Thanksgiving. Uh, so maybe we can share something about Thanksgiving. What uh, was a, a memory for you for Thanksgiving? My favorite memories, once we had children, we used to always go to my mom and dad's house mm -hmm. up in Grass Valley. And it was really great. Up in Grass Valley? Where is that? California. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's actually down this way. Yeah. We're in Portland. Okay. Just so, please. but we would go and it was always great. It was like going to the country, you know? And so the kids would get all jazzed and ready to go and bring all of their stuff so they could be with grandma and grandpa. So that was our favorite. Okay. Well, we stayed home. I'm the ninth of nine kids, and just to say that's kind of like... You don't party, bring nine anywhere? Party, no, the party central, <laughs> so people would come to us. I don't ever remember traveling as a kid for Thanksgiving until I was an adult. Okay. Yeah. So when it comes to Thanksgiving, there's also food traditions. Now, I'm not a foodie, but I'm kind of curious, and I think other people might be curious what your favorite food is and maybe what is one you don't like. Like if it gets placed on the table in front of you on Thanksgiving, then what? Okay. Well, favorite, obviously, turkey and everything that goes with it, mashed potatoes, gravy, all of those good things. But if you put Brussels sprouts in front of me, yeah. they're yours. <laughs> <laughs> Brussels sprouts. So my dad, he loved cream corn. I know. Well, and every year we have to have cream corn, and it's not stuff you make. It's just fresh out of the can. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So crazy. Uh, okay. Mm. So. That's your favorite? Yeah. And your least favorite. Okay. Right. So you tell me what's yours. Um, well, so first of all, turkey is essential. Uh, and in fact, I remember when I got older, when I going to somebody else's house on Thanksgiving, and they had ham. <laughs> it's like, this is just wrong. Right? Hey, what's up with that? I yeah. don't quite get the ham thing. Now, you may do ham, you may do turkey, but I'd never done ham, so I was just being polite and like, oh, okay. <laughs> because you can't put like, it just doesn't seem to go with mashed potatoes and gravy. I just, because I'm the same with you. I yeah. like the mashed potatoes and gravy, uh, and peas would be my favorite green thing. On Although I think those are considered, a, peas are probably one of those starches. Maybe that's why I like them. Not so much a vegetable. There you are. So that's the favorite. But you did mention one I didn't even think about. Because of all like foods, cream corn is like at the very bottom <laughs> of like the bottom. And so that shows up sometimes or had showed up as a kid and that would just and that just passed by. It just kept going by. <laughs> that's the best thing though when you have other people at the table. <laughs> Nobody is paying t attention to what you're putting on your plate. Right, and, they get, and it's okay if you don't get that one. They just move it on and somebody else can take care of it. That's right. When I was a, it reminds me, I was a college student. It was my birthday and my friends uh, woke me up in the morning and they had something planned. I did not know that. And there are all these gifts wrapped in they're cans of something, clearly, right? Uh -huh. So you can imagine what that was. And they all knew I didn't like cream corn, so everyone was a different brand, <laughs> a brand <laughs> like of cream, cream corn. corn. <laughs> So, so yeah, so back to turkey, mashed potatoes, and gravy, stuffing. Oh, yes, yeah, stuffing, stuffing is great. Yeah, so uh, maybe this is also one. I'm not a yams fan, so. That's I didn't true. grow up with yams. Yeah, my mom used to keep thinking, she, oh, you lo love yams, or no, it was cranberries. She thought she used to always like cranberries. Uh -huh. Cranberries is also, so I now just mention cream corn, yams, and <laughs> cranberry sauce. <laughs> cranberries. I'm like, Okay, there are some foods I'm not a big fan of. And they sometimes rove heavily in the plates that go by me. <laughs> but, you know, the thing about yams, if you have a really good sweet potato and you mm. put a little olive oil on it and you put it under the broiler and it, that's all it is. And I would actually prefer that over cream corn. Right. I mean, there's really nothing below cream corn, I think. <laughs> I mean, spinach, when it's cooked, is okay. I used to not like it, but uh, raw spinach is better. But cream corn is towards the bottom. I don't know. Yeah, no. Do you have traditions? Uh, so you mentioned you kind of traveled, but were there traditions within the Thanksgiving meal of any kind? Not, I mean, just the basic, we always have to say grace and, you know, all of that. Was there um, anybody that specifically designated or did they rotate that and saying grace? You know, my dad, you know, when he was still alive, he would say it and, you know, we'd all join him or whatever. 
Um, there were years where we would make everybody go around the table and say what they were thankful for. My children hated that. <laughs> It's like, oh no, mom is making us share. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, no, that's never a big thing. So, mm -hmm. okay. I think we had, well, the tradition, because there's on the ninth and nine, lots of, lots of young people, and then some as they got older would come back with their spouses. But I would then, most dominantly as a child, be at the kid's table. Oh, you know lucky. that? Yeah, lucky, right? Right. And it was like a cardboard table that was rickety and <laughs> it was bad enough that we'd be trying to cut things and not spill things. Now we've set ourselves up to have this card table that's not like, like an earthquake <laughs> happening at the same time. It's like, <sighs> I was so glad to like when I was in uh, high school to finally graduate. Into the bigger table. Yes. But, yeah. <laughs> it's like, thanks be to God. Yeah, right, right. right. So well, Thanksgiving is a time for us to be think thinking about what we're thankful for. And I'm going to be talking about it in the homily. If you're going to Mass, hopefully, I think I should probably publish this the day before. I'm going to publish this as soon as possible, I think. Because if you come to Mass on Thanksgiving Day, I'm going to walk around and ask, not everybody, but with a microphone, a few people, what they are thankful for. And here's always the hard part. I'm going to ask them to list one thing. Do you think they're going to be able to do that? No. No, it's always two. It's, I'm thankful for this and that. Like, how about just this? Because it's hard for us to commit. Just to just one thing. Yeah. Because, you know, but you know what this is. It's because of God's generosity, right? Uh -huh. So we are filled with so many good things mm -hmm. that how do you pick one? Yeah. Well, I, I, I'm just going to go with that. But I'm going to still instruct everybody and we'll see where it goes. Yes. I think people are going to probably toy with me. I, I have a well, feeling. they probably will, but you'll be patient. Oh, with, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you will thank them. And I definitely will. It's one of our favorite masses. It's always been for me, and since I've been here at Holy Trinity, it's a whole other thing, because at the preparation of the gifts, we don't just pass the basket around. We do something different. Maybe right. You can explain that. We, you know, it's so, it's so cool. We, as a church, have always been giving to people in need, and so one of the great things about Thanksgiving is that we can bring our offerings for our food closet, and we can bring food, so we can bring bags of food that are brought up at the offertory, so you literally will see the entire altar filled with food. It's amazing. And you can give a check. No. Nope. Non-perishable food, so don't put bananas in there or anything that needs refrigeration, right? Right, yeah, that's the other thing, right. So your pumpkin pies that are already cooked? Probably not. Probably no. Good, yeah. Just leave that on your table. But you know what we heard, which is really kind of sad, our food closet was open today to, um, sorry, what day is today? today? Well, we're recording on a Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. So they, it Wait. was open today and we found out that all of the other food closets this week were closed. And I can't tell you how many phone calls we got today asking about help with food. Mm -hmm. So everything that you bring, if you come to Mass on Thursday, will be well used by our food closet for all of the people that are in need these days. All right. You know, I was looking at my calendar. I think our food closet is closed on Friday, though. It's closed on Friday, oh. but it's open next week. So I don't remember even the days. You know the days when it's open? It? Yes, it's open on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. And so next week it'll be open on all three of those days, 10 to noon. And again, the food that you bring on this Thursday will fill up our what are now bare shelves. Mm -hmm. Charlie came in and he said that they had so many people come in today that their shelves are bare. Oh. But they're going to fill them. Okay, there you go. Yeah. One last question. So, do you ever did you ever have a Thanksgiving event uh, that was memorable? It could be something strange. It could be something exciting. It could be. Uh, was there anything that comes to your mind of something that was of interest that you remember as a either as a parent or before? That was special about Thanksgiving. You know, when my dad died, um, it was going to be our first holiday without him. Mark and I are connected to a monastery in Southern California, and as we were preparing to celebrate Thanksgiving, they usually have a big retreat at the Abbey, and so we called to see if we could get reservations. And that always books. It's always filled, and we have never tried, and I literally tried this. On Thanksgiving. Right? Oh. And so for the whole weekend, so I called, 
and Sister Karen moved heaven and earth to get our entire family into the Abbey. And it was great you know, because we were able to celebrate without my dad and have a real Thanksgiving because the monks make turkey and they make everything else. And everybody that was there was there to celebrate Thanksgiving. And we could do it mis monastic style. So we were able to join in the, okay. the Liturgy of the Hours and Mass and all of that. And it was a holy way to celebrate in a new way because my dad wouldn't have been there and, and just would have been difficult. Mm -hmm. So thanks be to God yeah. for Sister Karen and the monks and Thanksgiving. Nice. What uh, about you? Yeah, so again, so we didn't travel as young kids. So I would say at home, I think it was just the ambiance of, first of all, I could get up a little bit later. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we went to church, but I remember also just kind of having a, or just a relaxed day and there was this effervescence of food all around and you would be able to sometimes pick the food and pretty much almost eat all day because mm -hmm. uh, after dinner there'd still be leftovers and pie and things like that. I was usually stuffed. Um, there's also events like, uh, I think there's some football games, you know, I'm a football fan, so there'd be some football games on that was kind of fun. As a, I think I was a high schooler when I, uh, or junior high, I enjoyed that. That's what my husband loves. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm curious. So maybe Maybe on the uh, Facebook posting that you are watching this, let's tell what are your traditions or what is your favorite food or your least favorite food or some kind of interesting uh, quick story that you want to share on Facebook because that's what we're publishing this. Obviously, it's also on YouTube, but I think it'd be fun to kind of share stories of what kind of happens uh, in your family, what's your traditions, things that are uh, memorable to you. And see if you can outdo our not favorite foods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what kind of crazy foods? Um, I mean, uh, what kind of foods <laughs> that, that you didn't care for were placed uh, on the table and kind of passed you by? Uh, you could hear. I would be because I know what it is in my husband's family. Oh, well, I, I told you it's uh, ambrosia salad. Salad. They right? always had to have ambrosia. Yeah, uh, it's like I don't even know what that is. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, folks, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll be back next week uh, with our Wednesday and Friday videos. And from us here at Holy Trinity, we want to give you and, and offer you a blessing for Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.